doing great. So we're all talking about leadership today. It is a leadership forum. But I have a question first. How many of you have ever heard about team leadership? Yeah. Team, be honest. Yeah, team yeah. leadership. How about client leadership? No. Oh, it's getting a bit weird, the hands, right? Now, we're going to talk a lot about leadership skills, leadership items, and I wanted you to today start focusing also on client leadership. We don't often talk about that when it's a notion which is actually important. And without clients, there's no business. Agree? Yes. yes. So why aren't we talking about client leadership as well? Isn't it funny? I tried to Google tri client leadership uh, about uh, one week ago when I was preparing what I will share with you today. And it was actually, there was not much information related to that. Whereas for team leadership, organizational leadership, there were a lot of things, right? So today, my objective is that you don't only focus on these notion of leadership where you have people building up teams, people speaking, people you know, being in front of the stage or politicians. I want you to shift a bit the way you're gonna think about leadership because we want to focus on clients. Without clients, there's no business. How many business owners do I have in the room? How many people do I have who work in a business? Okay, who work for a business? There's, in any case, your, your hands will be up because you're part of the society, right? You're part of building that value in the society. So, we are going to focus on clients <coughs> who are going to build our business. Do you agree that nowadays we live like in a hyper-connected world? Do you agree that products and services tend to look very much alike? Sometimes you're like, what is really the difference between company A, company B, product A, product B? And sometimes you're, yourself, you're a bit confused. And so us, as leaders, leading clients, we need to take that challenge into account. We are in a world where everything looks alike, clients are confused, they're looking for the best deals, and even if they say, you know what, I will go to you, do they always do? Do they always go to you? Even if they promise you they will come, they don't always do that. Sometimes they lie. <laughs> but are they lying doing it on purpose? No. No. If you listen to Fadil, we're actually not really master or in control or of everything that we do. So it's the same for clients, which means that we need to find a solution. We need to be the client leaders. We need to be able to drive them hold their hands to where we want them to go. Where we want them to go is maybe our product, it's maybe our service, because we know that we have the best thing for them. We know that without what we're going to offer them, they will not grow. Do we agree? Yes. Okay, now there is another challenge. Your client, when he disappears, you're actually losing all the investment you put in place to acquire that client. Sometimes we think, oh, it's okay, I just lost the client, there's no worries. But you know what, you lost him, you lost the investment to get him, but you're also going to lose a lot of money to replace that client. And you know how much you're gonna lose? Seven times more than the effort you would have put in place to go to an existing customer, transform him into a client, and get him to buy other things. So these are the different challenges we're gonna face. And that's why my purpose for me today is to transform each and every one of you into client leaders. So do you agree with me? Is it a promise that we don't only talk about team leadership, but we're going to be the leaders of tomorrow, so we're focusing as of today on client leadership. Okay for you? So action of today, we are going to influence Google. The more we Google something, the more it rises, right? Mm -hmm. That's related to search engine optimization. So we're going to boost Google today so that we're going to have more content related to client leadership. So I want you to make a promise today when we're all done with the conference, you Google client leadership. Now today there will not be content, but tomorrow there will be because you will build it. Mm -hmm. Are we okay? Yeah. So you clap your hands. Yeah. I'm going to 
share with you three concrete actions that you're going to implement in order to build that client leadership. But before I go into the actions, I want to focus on something, and it will be related to the fact that I met a few months ago Steve Wozniak, who is Apple co-founder. He talked about leadership, but he focused on one thing. You're not a leader if you don't keep your promises. You have to deliver. Everything I will tell you will have no value if you don't deliver quality based upon what you promised. Does it make sense? Yes. Yeah? Good leaders, good promisers, good people who implement the promises. So the first action you need to do is this. <laughs> Build pyjama parties. Isn't it great being a client leadership? A client leader, yeah? So what the first action is about building pyjama parties. Not exactly doing that, but creating exceptional moments where you will not buy, you will not sell to your clients. Because you, know, you need to know more about them. You need to care about them. You need to listen to them.